fam. Let's talk about the merch and the shipping. So previously, we were using a fulfillment center to pack and ship our orders, which went really well for the first few months that we did that. And then it got to a point to where we were selling a ton more orders and then COVID hit and all the COVID scam stuff and all that jazz, whatever. So then everything got backed up. They were taking six to eight weeks for some orders to ship out. It was taking a long time. I got upset about that because I'm like, you know what? We can ship stuff faster than that. At a minimum, we can ship just as fast as they are, but I think we can ship faster if we just do it ourselves. Therefore, we bought a bunch of inventory. We invested in the business to be able to do it all ourselves, all this stuff. Had this big grand idea that, you know, we're gonna be able to keep orders shipped out within a week, right? Which that is still our goal but then the reality set in that we ship a lot of stuff <laughs> like for that company even to keep up with what they were doing which was like basically four to six seven weeks behind we ship a lot of orders and you don't realize how many you ship until you're doing it yourself and you're like okay I know the number on like my store it says we ship this many orders this month but how is it actually shipping them yourself in the beginning it was great you know the first like two weeks you know me and my brother could pretty much keep up on the orders like we thought we were long story short we're now almost two months of doing it ourselves and we're at a point right now where now we are like a couple weeks behind on most of the orders and this is this is what we're running into and we're fixing the problem but it's not that stuff's not getting shipped like stuff's getting shipped still don't don't think that i'm saying oh you're never gonna get your stuff everybody gets their stuff some people like to complain if it's a day late some people like to complain if it's a week some people like to complain if it's two three four whatever which i get that if i order something we live in a world now where everybody expects it right away they don't want to wait for stuff there it's no longer like before 2010 before 2010 if you ordered something it could take a couple weeks and it was normal now we live in a world where you can click on an app and everything opens up and you can see everything that's going on in the world in a second everybody wants their stuff immediately which I understand that's great that's okay I mean we have to conform to that if we want to be able to keep up with everybody's new standard of how they want things done but we actually got a couple of people that are gonna start working for us here soon so we can try to keep up with the orders um, more than we are right now. It's just it's a lot and there's a lot of people that are very quick to assume things and very quick to judge Like oh, you, you shouldn't even be running a business if you can't keep your orders out on time It's like you stock bread at Kroger dude like that's fine Like I'm literally talking about a guy that literally stocks bread at Kroger like it's it's fine if you do that I could care less what anybody else does with their time what they do for a job it doesn't matter It's none of my business, right? But when you come at somebody who's trying to grow a huge company, which by the way, might not seem like it, we're in a little barn here and we're shipping stuff out of our house right now, but our company, I'm proud of LLC, is in that top 1% in terms of how big and how fast we are growing and how many orders we are pushing. Think about that in perspective. Top 1% in the United States. We ship a lot of orders. We just didn't realize how many orders we really shipped until we were shipping them ourselves again because the company has grown a lot since we started almost three years ago now. We have to adapt and that's so we're hiring on a couple more people we're gonna get everything caught back up to speed I'll just keep you guys updated along the way but you guys have to understand when I started this company I was almost 18 and that was just not even three years ago almost three years ago and the company's already doing margins and orders in the top 1% category in the United States. And so even if it does take, like some orders like, dude, I can't believe I had to wait a month. Like I understand that sucks. We're not Amazon, we don't have like hundreds of thousands of employees, which they do literally hundreds of thousands. They have a lot of employees. Like it's absolutely insane, but that's how they can do that. And we're just, we haven't quite worked all the kinks out of the operation yet. We're still doing that. This is still a young company. It's a young growing business. And so when I get people jumping at me, like you don't see what's going on behind the scenes. We are working like crazy, but when you move the kind of product that we move, it's kind of tough to fully keep up with everything at first when you don't realize how big and how fast everything gets. You gotta just adapt as you go. So bottom line is, we're working at the kinks and we're hiring on more people to try to keep stuff shipped out even faster. What it essentially came down to is we didn't realize just how much stuff we really were shipping until we had to literally physically ship it all out ourselves and it's a lot of stuff but like i said don't take that the wrong way every order still gets shipped the winner of this truck chose the forces not these wheels and tires not the pro comps Kind of sad, I was kind of looking forward to maybe using them on my resto gen, but I'm totally good with still having these because I'm gonna use them on something else. So we're gonna get these swapped out. I still have not heard back from him in terms of how we wanna get the truck to him. He is from Arizona, so it's 
it's a ways out there. Ben from Arizona won the truck, in case anybody missed the video from yesterday. But that's what we're gonna try to do is get these swapped out real quick so that it is good to go. So let's get to swapping these around right now and getting it back on the 24 by 14s. Almost done swapping the forces back onto the OBS Ford. But I thought, you know what, let's see what the black 24 by 14 Archon off-road wheels look like on this thing. I've only got one lug nut on the top to try to hold it and balance in place, but that's actually a pretty sick looking setup for this truck. I don't know if it's just because they have more tread on the tire or that it's black on a white truck, I don't know, but I really like it. And the wheels are on. Gotta get everything cleaned up though. Not only do we have to get it cleaned up for him, but we've gotta get the trucks cleaned up for the meet, which is actually tomorrow at 12.30. So for everybody that was heard we were having a meet in Eaton, Indiana, it's actually moved to just the Fort Wayne area. It's gonna be on, I think it's, let me just read off the address so I'm correct here. It is 10510 Maysville Road, Fort Wayne, Indiana. So if you wanna be at the meet tomorrow, we're gonna meet up at 12.30, and then around two o'clock, we're gonna join in on the Trump caravan that's going around Fort Wayne, which is actually just around the Fort Wayne loop that goes around the city. It's not like down through downtown or all that crap. Not not anything like that. Ben actually got a hold of me just now through text and he said, I am available to chat for a minute if you've got some time. So we're going to give him a call right now. Hello. Hey, what's going on? Is this Ben? Yes, sir. Dude, you want a truck, man. Uh, yeah, it's that's it's crazy. It's <laughs> You're from Arizona. I did a little bit of research in that's about, what, almost 30 hours away or something. Here's the options. And you basically got, I mean, you've, you've got as many options really as you want, but here's essentially what we can do. You can either fly out and drive back, take a rental car that we pay for, drive out and drive back and leave the rental car here. My preferred option for a trip like that, we can offer up to $1,000 to go towards shipping the truck if you don't want to like sit in a vehicle for a couple days. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that was, uh... yeah, that it's it's just preference for some but for something like that, usually people drive out here and hang out, but usually the longest drive we've had so far is like 10, 11 hours. Kind of a different situation, so we're putting that on the table as well in case you don't want to make the trip. Yeah, it's it's such a long trip and then, you know, as great as an OBS Ford is, probably not what you not what you want to drive across country. No, it'd be a little I mean, yeah, it, the vibration from the big wheels and tires after the first three hours would be like, okay, this is cool, but it's not this cool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In terms of like how you found out about the giveaway and stuff like that, do you Watch us on YouTube. You find us on Facebook, Instagram. How'd you? How'd that happen? Uh, I found you on YouTube. Um, I hadn't come across your channel up until about a month ago because I watched you on Diesel. Oh yeah. And I'd seen that you had gotten their trucks, a couple of the trucks, and I clicked on the one. The thumbnail was the Gen One. Okay. And in that one, you on the OBS out there. You know, hey, don't forget to get your entries in on this and. I was like, oh, that's cool. So I pulled up your website and kind of went through and I love hats and keychains, stuff like that, just collecting them. So I was like, eh, heck, there's a keychain. I'll grab that and, and check this out, see what's going on. And lo and behold, that's all it took. <laughs> but I mean, I've been, I've been watching all your videos since then. And after I got the call, you know, it's, I've never won nothing. And it was all really just disbelief. And yeah, for sure. As the days went by, it, it's like, oh, they, 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 this isn't real. And even after it got in your text, I was like, well, it's just still too crazy. And <laughs> I watched your video the, a couple nights ago where you actually said, you know, well, we have a winner. And me and my wife looked at each other and it's like, it, it's real now. Yeah, holy smokes. <laughs> he said, it's Ben from Arizona. That I'm Ben, I'm from Arizona and I bought something. So it's like, holy smokes. It's going to be a good trek for you. Yeah, dude, keep in touch. Text me if you have any questions, just shoot me a text. I'll keep you in the loop on all the details in terms of what I get in terms of shipping quotes. Sounds good. You have a good day, man. All right, you too. Yep, bye. Dude is winning a truck and 5,000 bucks and you could be next. So yeah, if you want to be taking this thing home, like he said, he saw a video, he clicked the link, he bought merch, he won a truck. So this dude is going to be taking home this 1997 F-350. It's got new paint. It's got 24 inch American Force wheels. We got to clean these up today, by the way. Pristine truck came out of the south. It's going back down to the south to Arizona, apparently. Freaking such a fun truck to drive. Starts and runs amazing. Just been an absolute stud of a truck. It's like a universal kit. So I tried to see if Reagan's old one would fit on here. Nope. 
You want to explain what you're doing here? <laughs> With a piece of sandpaper. <laughs> yeah. It's the wow. little things, you know. That makes a big difference. Like the smallest piece of sandpaper you can find. <laughs> it really is the only piece of sandpaper I can find <laughs> for metal. Must have been for something you worked on. Cause, yeah. But yeah, it looks like he's sanding away the old first gen here. It's really clean underneath. It's just... It's got surface it's rust from sitting, you know. Oh look, this. I discovered some numbers. Ooh. Numbers are good. Have you heard the number song? I don't know. It's just counting, literally. That's all it is. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's kind nice. of a waste of your time, really. So what he was talking about is he was going to try to install a class 2 hitch down here because it's this is just dumb. It's got wiring, but no hitch. It's got the, you know, obviously you could do a bumper pull, but I don't know. To me, it should just have a class 2, but it does have the gooseneck. He's getting the truck ready for the meet tomorrow. And for those of you that haven't seen this thing, look at the no door sag or anything. This is an 85,000 mile 12 hours. Got the power stroke over here all cleaned up, except for the wheels. <laughs> and he's got this flatbed truck over here. But I think he said he wants to take this one, so that's why he's trying to get it sanded down on the frame and getting the frame coated. What's up, buddy? Car for sale. Hit me up. 2003 Ford Focus SE. It's really dirty right now, but it doesn't really have any rust on it other than like a little bit of surface stuff starting there. And then like a little bit of surface bubbles at the very, very bottom of the door. 135,000. Starts right up. Get a little bit of a weird vibration in the cab because there's one little tiny exhaust leak below the floorboard here so it's kind of annoying but other than that it runs great she's never had it in the shop for any kind of fixes just maintenance Sanding the frame a little bit more. We're gonna coat it up. He's gonna coat the hub, not the chrome part, but the rest of it. And then basically just get the frame cleaned up so that it looks better for tomorrow. So we're gonna set the camera up and get some painting done. Here's where we're gonna wrap it up for tonight. Show you what we got done here. We cleaned the frame up in the front here. I may actually get my phone out and running out of lighting here. You can see the frame here. We got it all coated up. We pretty much coated up everything in there. Looks really, really good. We actually redid the hub too. Sorry, keep putting my phone in front of the camera. We actually cleaned up the hub, sanded that, taped it off, and then clean that up and if you come to the other side this side still got wet paint here's the other side still got wet paint on it but you can see we masked off everything here and sanded and coated and he's got a crazy looking sander here sanded it all down took the airbrush airbrushed it all off you can see all of it on the ground got it down to where we didn't have rust keep falling off basically and it was all nice and smooth and then just gave it a good old coating of rust-oleum flat enamel flat black enamel paint coating just something to uh clean it up it's not like the last thing we're gonna do with this frame i'm sure but for now good temporary fix oh there we go yeah looks good it looks good for a quick little afternoon project yeah this little tool here if you ever do any type of body work i found this online it's flipping amazing yeah 
You can use it for different heads for stripping paint, for zipping crap off your frame. Oh yeah. It's well worth the money. Oh yeah, you can see how it ripped off all the loose stuff all the way back here. Tomorrow is the day of the truck meet. Unless you're seeing this on Sunday, September 27th, then the meet is today at 12.30 Eastern time. So if you want to be able to make, if you want to make it, you want to try to make it, Cool address, I'll leave the address right here in front of my black t-shirt there. Bring your Trump flags, bring your American flags. We're gonna be meeting up for a couple hours and then getting onto the highway for the Trump caravan. And it's just gonna be a big circle, so it's gonna bring us right back to where we were. Um, if you don't wanna be in there for the whole thing or if you don't wanna be in for any of it, you don't have to go. But that's just something that literally like the whole city of Fort Wayne is gonna be in on tomorrow. Or again, if you're seeing this on the 27th, today. So if you're in the Fort Wayne area, all on 469, Starting at 2 p.m. is going to be the Trump caravan where everybody's going to go in their support, showing your support for Mr. Trump. They're going to be doing it all around the city of Fort Wayne on 469. So it's going to be pretty cool. It's just a big circle. It's not like down through town and all kinds of annoying driving. It's literally just the highway loop that surrounds the city basically so it'll be pretty cool anyways guys can't wait to see you tomorrow for everybody that i'm gonna see it's gonna be awesome to shake your hand get to meet you guys even though you're not supposed to shake hands right now i don't really care <laughs> don't forget that if you want to get 5x entries towards winning this truck 5x entries plus random cash in every single order is going on right now but that deal ends on september 28th which is in about 48 hours, it'll be over for the random cash and every single order deal. So if you wanna get in on that plus 5X entries, enter right now, last I think 10 or 11 days to enter to win that truck. Thank you guys so much, I'll catch you in the next one, peace.